G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the modifications I've made to my DD Superlight hammock. I forgot all about doing this hammock. I did very similar modification to the frontline hammock I've got. And somebody a week or two ago asked me about having a ridge line on the DD Superlight hammock and how close it is to your face. So this is very similar to what I did with the frontline hammock. So what I'll show you is how I did it and what I changed. Originally when I got the hammock, there was this whoopee sling here came through the gathered end of the hammock here. There was no ridge line on it or anything. And I was wanted to uh, make it as easy as possible when I set up with the less faff, which means I could just put the hammock up, tension it all, and it's done. There's no messing around, lifting it up and down. But originally I put the ridge line I made here. But laying in the hammock, it was very, very close to my face. And what I've got at the moment is a bungee cord. So I'll show you with the bungee cord and explain why it's preferable to have the ridge line higher up away. First of all, sitting in the hammock, this is where the ridge line comes with a short hammock. So where is it here? Just on my level with the bottom of my ear. So getting up at night and imagine without hitting yourself like this, you basically grotting yourself nearly you could do and with using the actual thinner stronger uh, zingip that could actually cut straight across my face so that's why that is now up higher and even laying down it's just a uh, very close what's that about six inches away from my face so imagine trying to get up at night, that's straight into my head and getting out of the hammock at night and that's catching me. What I've done to solve this now is I took the original whoopee sling out of the gathered end and I made a dog bone. Is it cord? Where you've got the loop on either end, that Dyneema. And it's about 17 inches in length total. So we're going to lose about an inch with it wrapping around here. So we've got about 16 inches here. So with the uh, ridge line that used to be here is now up here. And all I've done was I put a dog bone on this end, same end. I measured from point to point of the dog bones, divided that by 100 and multiplied it by 83, which gives me 83% technically of the hammock length. Because now the hammock length has gone from this point to this point. So that's like 34 inches longer the hammock is, technically. So I made myself another structural ridge line to use with it. This is, say, where it originally was. Going straight across under my nose. And now this is where it is, what's that? Three or four inches above my head. So it's actually probably a little bit more, probably closer to the my hat off. Yeah, about five inches above my head now it is. Rather than being straight across my nose, under my eyes. So that's the first change, or the second change I made. The dog bones to extend the length of the hammock, to make a longer structural ridge line, to lift that up higher away from me when I'm in the hammock, to make it safer, but I still get the perfect lay. The next thing as you can see as I'm rubbing my head on is this bungee and that's going to be for the bug net but first of all I think I need to shorten that because I noticed it was a little bit uh, loose when I put the hammock up. All I did with the bungee was just to make a figure eight knot in it and wrap it over the um, dog bone here and bring it down. So I've just got to do that in reverse to take it off to adjust it and 
Now these carabiners are a bit big. I'm looking at getting some of the DD super light ones, but they don't have any in stock at the moment, or not over here in Australia. So as soon as they get them back in stock, I'm gonna get a set, and these will go back in my normal pack, just for everyday use. Yeah, it's gonna be better. around and so they're going straight back in the back bring it coming around and pick down the top so show that closely there's a bungee wrap it around once as if you're going to do an overhand knot and normally we'd push it through the back here but I'm going to carry on around this side press that back in place and tuck that through the front and pull it and there's your figure eight knot so now let's put that back in the hammock wow <laughs> that's lifted the hammock right up with the bungee being tighter so here's the ridge line loose at the moment but as I get in that'll swap around so these ridge line here, bungee, put weight in the hammock, ridge lines up here and bungees down there. So here's the DD Superlight bug net. I'm just going to bring that over to the end of the bungee, which is the end of the hammock, pull the cord, put the line lock up and that's that done. So this end's already done, I'll just give it a snag to make sure. But when the actual ridge line was on it, it was down here. But now we've got the ridge line up there. But the bungee cord is down here now. And that holds it off your face nice and comfortable. That's the bottom entry bog net. I've got it back to filming, but there's a draw cord on a, I think it's about a 3mm bungee. And you'll just tighten it up, pull the line lock, and that's all done. I'm going to put my boots in because they've got bits of grit and everything gone. Now I can comfortably get in and out, and when the bug net's tightened up, And the bug net's way away from my face. And there's the bungee. Now, the bungee, all you could really hang off that is your uh, headlight or a very, very small torch because it would be in bungee. So you wouldn't be able to fit a ridge line organizer in it, or you'd be able to fit it, but wherever you put in there, just bring that closer and closer and further and further down. But most of the time I use a gear sling under the hammock. So all I have to do is put my hand down and grab what I want. I can keep my phone down here. I keep my bottle of water down here or any snacks or anything. So it's all in reach, nice and easy. There you go. My modifications and my DD Superlight hammock. Now I hope that video helped and if you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed yet please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it, click on all, click the like button, share it with all your mates and if you are already a subscriber and done all that already again I thank you very much. So until next time get out there have some fun and take care.